Today, I'm going to show you the absolute quickest, easiest way to make homemade mashed potatoes. Hi, I'm Aaliyah Millam. I'm the founder of the food blog, Premeditated Leftovers, and author of the cookbook, Prep Ahead Meals from Scratch. Now in this cookbook, I do have a mashed potato recipe and it makes really smooth and creamy mashed potatoes, but it starts with baked potatoes. And while they're delicious, it's a little bit more time consuming. And sometimes I'm using the oven for something else. I'm gonna show you how I make mashed potatoes in the Instant Pot. And one of the great functions of the Instant Pot is it has a warming um, function. And so that means after you're done making your mashed potatoes, we'll be able to completely make them in the Instant Pot and then you can leave them in there to stay warm. So that way you can make them ahead of your holiday meal. Okay, so first we start by taking off the lid and I have a rack and I'm gonna leave the rack in here just so the potatoes aren't sitting right on, top, on the bottom. It'll just keep them from getting too brown. Okay, then I'm going to add one cup of vegetable broth and it's gonna stay in there. We're not going to drain it. We don't need to add any other water. Now we're gonna add potatoes. I have peeled and cut up five pounds of potatoes. And you can see I have them sitting in a strainer of water. And that was so I could cut them up in advance and then have them sit here without turning brown. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these into the Instant Pot carefully so I don't spill them all over the counter. I have done that a couple times. Okay, now there we go. So they're all in there. And that's all we have to do for now. So now I'm gonna put the lid on. And then I turn this button right here to ceiling. Now I'm gonna turn this towards the camera so you can see what I do next. Okay, we want it to cook at high pressure for 10 minutes. And you have to know your Instant Pot, everybody's are going to be slightly different. If you have to, you can always push manual, choose high pressure, and choose 10 minutes. Um, but on my Instant Pot, I can push steam and it automatically puts it to high pressure and for, sets it for 10 minutes. Now, the Instant Pot, even though it's only going to cook at high pressure at 10 minutes, it doesn't officially start until it gets to high pressure. So, it depends on how long it takes that liquid and the contents to heat up. And once it gets to high pressure, then it will start co cooking for that 10 minutes. So this process could actually take closer to 14 minutes, 15 minutes, depending on your Instant Pot, but still super fast, super easy. Okay, I'm gonna let this cook and then I'll come back and show you the next step. All right, so the timer just went off. It's finished cooking at high pressure for 10 minutes. So all we do right now is just move this knob from ceiling to venting. I use a pot holder because the steam is hot. And there we go. It'll just take 30 seconds to a minute and then it'll be ready to go. And I don't know if you could hear that little click, but that click means that it's actually safe to open now. So I'm gonna still use my pot holder. There's some hot steam. I'm gonna set that there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig in and pull out the rack that I had put in. So now I just use my um, potato masher and I start mashing my potatoes. You can see how soft, let's see, can you see how soft and easy those are mashing up? Okay, we have most of those mashed. And so now what I'm gonna do is add my butter. Now I've cut, um, I have one stick of butter, eight tablespoons, and I've cut it into slices. And that will just make it a little bit easier to um, get it distributed throughout the potatoes. Makes it melt faster when it's in smaller pieces. Now that the butter's all mixed in, next thing I'm gonna do is add half and half. I have half a cup of half and half, and I'm just going to pour a little bit in at a time until I get the right amount. Usually it's just about a half a cup. You might find that you want a little bit more or less. 
This will make really flavorful mashed potatoes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my half a cup. And then I'm going to add my salt and pepper. Now you want to do salt and pepper to taste just like you would with butter. And so if you taste these afterwards and you're like, oh, I want a little bit more butter, go ahead and add it. I prefer to add a little bit less and then allow people to adjust it at the table. Okay, so I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of coarse ground pepper and I use half a teaspoon of sea salt. You can use whatever kind of seasoned salt, whatever salt you like. Okay, now I'm going to be ready to serve these. Now, if I was not going to be serving dinner for a while, what I could do is I could just leave this on warm, put the lid on, and keep them warm until I'm ready to serve them, but um, I'm going to be serving them right away. So I'm going to go ahead and move these to a bowl, and I'll let you get a closer look at the consistency. All right, so the mashed potatoes are ready to serve. It is just that quick and easy to make it, and we only dirty the dish that we cook them in and then the dish we're serving them in. If I didn't want to clean this dish, I could have served them out of the Instant Pot. If you would like the recipe, click on the link below. And if you're not already, go ahead and follow me and check your notifications and request to get notifications whenever I share one of my quick and easy recipes. Have a great day, and don't forget, if you try one of my recipes, leave a comment and let me know what you think.